welcome to our Resource Center for Churches in Transition. From the time we are born to the time we depart this life, all of life, public and private, experience transitions. If churches are alive, they too are in some sort of transition. Transitions move us from one thing to the next, to rediscovery, to new assessment, to new mission and vision. Often transition means struggle. Roger Nicholson in his book, Temporary Shepherds, says transition is often a wilderness experience. At its best, it causes anxiety. At its worst, it causes pain. Yet in God's divine wisdom, God consistently allows us to experience it. It is as if God created us so that we grow through change and the transition that accompanies it. Over and over, we are thrust by change into dying to something and then rising again into something new. The good news is that you are not in this alone. The Connecticut Conference is here to help you navigate these waters. We have resources to help you through leadership transitions and church life cycle transitions. Leadership transitions occur when pastors retire, pastors move on, pastors resign, and even when the pastor and congregation just don't fit. Church life cycle transitions occur when membership shifts occur, the neighborhood changes, youth are not present, and the building use needs needs to be reassessed. We are here to help. You are not alone. Your regional minister has an important role in assisting congregations through periods of transitions. Your first step is to contact your regional minister and to review the PDF online on pastoral leadership designations. Please know we here at the conference are praying that this transition will lead you to a place of renewal. Resources are online to provide you with detailed information on the definitions of pastoral designations and information about the distinctions between interim ministry and designated ministry. God bless. Okay.